Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss about line coding. At the end of this lesson, you will be familiarized with different types of line coding. Choose a specific line coding for a specific applications and you will be able to solve problems involving line coding. So this is actually the summary of digital modulation. In our last lesson, we discussed about the pulse code modulation and uh, pulse modulation, mainly amplitude modulation. Today's focus is here, source encoding, means using the line coding. So first, here, in the analog to digital conversion due to PCM, we converted the analog signal in terms of binary code, okay? Two bits or three bits or four bits and so on, depend on the level used for quantization. Now, these bits, before transmitting through the channel, we have to convert in terms of voltage level so that it can travel through the link. Or channel. So, means what is line coding? Processing or converting the binary data or binary bits to a digital signal in terms of voltage or current. Okay, so for example, binary one can be mapped to positive 5 volt square pulse or zero can be negative 5 volts. It depends on which line coding we are using. We'll discuss later. Okay. For example, this one, for a digital data, 01011101, okay, here is the encoder, line encoder. This can be converted in terms of zero means negative five, one means positive five, and so on. Data will go to the receiver side. There will be decoder. Decoder will decode this line code, okay, or the uh, voltage uh, square wave in terms of binary bits again, reconvert back and uh, transmit to the uh, means. This one uh, will pass to the sink or the receiver. Okay, so what are the things we need for line coding? First, there will be the pulse code modulation bits, binary sequence and then line coding and after line coding this square wave will be uh, passed to channel for traveling so that it can reach the go to the destination so the purpose of line coding why do we need uh, to match the output signal to the channel for baseband trans transmission so line coding also allow the uh, procedure to be done um, to convert the digital data um, to the code and transmit to the destination so that at the destination, the receiver can um, recover if there is any error, okay, or data loss. And synchronization because for digital communication synchronization is very important so line could sometimes give the info convey the info about synchronization okay and it is able to do the error detection or error correction um, depending on the application on it so what are the terms involved for line coding data element data element is the binary bits zero or one data rate it's the bit per second, as we have discussed before, how many bits are transmitted okay, per unit time. Okay, signal element, data element and bit are the same. Signal element, signal element is the symbol. Okay, so number of values or levels in a particular signal. And then signal rate, uh, sometimes is known as modulation rate. How many signal element or the bud huh, or the symbol can be transmitted per unit of 
time. So let us see a little bit more closely. This is the binary bits data. Okay, one zero one zero, and how the line code or the signal is one bit one waveform. One bit one waveform means one signal element, one data bit. So there is a term R. R is number of data elements or bits divided by number of signal elements. So in this case, one here also the signal element one, so R is one. For example, this. This is the bit or the data. So for one data, there are two um, waveforms or two elements of signal. One is low, one is high. Okay. Uh, or this one also that low and high. Okay. Something like that, or high and low. So two signal elements per data elements. So our value is one divided by two. Another one, if they are this one actually, the one bit, okay? One bit means um, two to the power one. There are two levels, okay? PCM one bit, PCM two bit, two to the power two, there will be four. Four means zero, 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 one, 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 one. So let us see, for example, for this signal, the data element one, one, this one, zero, one, this one, one, one. So one signal element, there are two bits, two data element. So R equals two by one means two. For a four bit PCM, there will be four bits per uh, symbol. And now if there are three signals involved, because this one depends on the line coding, and eh? which line coding we are going to use, that one will be discussed afterwards. So uh, for this, if there are three uh, signal elements, one is maybe plus five volt, negative five volt, and zero volt, so three. In this case, data is four, so the value of R is four divided by three. Okay, now, as usual, data rate is the bit per second or bit rate. Signal rate is known as baud rate, okay, or the pulse rate or modulation rate. Now, relationship between the signal rate. Uh, and the data rate. So if we consider um, S is the number of elements, means the signals, labels, okay, equals C and multiplication one by R. C is, it depends. It is a constant case factor. It will be given in the data rate bit per second. N can be uh, BP, hmm? bit rate, okay, or FB. And then R is, the data elements part signal elements as we have seen so we can hear the symbol rate and here is the data rate bit rate we can uh, relate to them for example let us see a signal is carrying data in which one data element is encoded as one signal element so r equals one yeah? we know if the bit rate is 100 kilobit per second means n or fb is 100 kilobit per second what is the average value of the bar rate? If the value of C, C is constant between zero and one. So we have to assume what is the value of C? Can be zero and one, anything means it's the fraction. So for example, if we consider C is half. So the, what will be the bar rate or symbol rate? S equals C and one by R. So half N is one ki 100 kilobit and R is one. So 50,000 kilo but okay so there are six main properties of line coding we need to know transmission bandwidth okay um, the transmission bandwidth should be as less as possible so, because to make sure this we have to choose the appropriate line code power efficiency another one transmission power should be as less as possible and then coding will have the capability for detection and correction the errors okay while the data is transmitted through the link or channel because channel is the source of all kind of errors then voltage okay 
transmission voltage or DC component, this one also should be within the reasonable range. And timing content means synchronization because it will, if the line code is self uh, synchronized, then that one would be the much more better. And then transparency should be possible to transmit a digital signal correctly. Whatever we are transmitting, one or zero doesn't matter. So, what are the uh, types okay, of line coding? How many, how many line coding are there? There are basically or mainly three, unipolar, polar, and bipolar. Okay? So unipolar, only one variant, whereas polar, there are many variant, and bipolar has uh, some. So let us see. So unipolar first. Unipolar uses only one voltage level. A positive voltage. So a positive voltage represents the binary one, while zero is the zero volt. So only one volt. Let's, for example, this one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero. So we can see for zero, nothing transmitted is the zero volt. Means nothing to, for one, maybe for example, five volt, plus five volt, and so on. This is the simplest one, but it's not self-synchronized and not self-clocking. Uh, so the transmitter has to inform the receiver prior to transmission about the matching of uh, consistency so that it can be synchronized. Otherwise, the receiver can receive or can uh, means um, decide different bit orientation than the transmitted one. Okay, now polar. Polar, there are um, four actually categories or types. Non-return to zero, return to zero, Manchester, differential Manchester. Okay, non-return to zero, it has two variations. Non-return to zero, linear L, and non-return to zero, inversion I. Okay, so let us see. First, non-return to zero. Then we'll go one by one. So non-return to zero, NRZ. First one, the linear is the easiest one among the polar. Okay. So here also, uh, signal is transmitted uh, for one, a positive hole, for zero, a negative hole, like plus five and negative five hole. But the actually the signal never returns to zero or there is no zero voltage component okay so uh, same like uh, unipolar it is not self synchronized so need to synchronize before transmitting the signal okay can use a start bit for this case that start bit to uh, synchronize okay, in between transmitter and receiver. Means from where it is started to transmit to inform that. Okay. So for example, one zero one zero one 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 zero zero is the same bit uh, pattern or bit series. So this one, one means plus five volt, zero means negative five volt, plus five volt negative, okay, plus 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 negative. It's, this is uh, the simple one. Okay, now let us compare the unipolar and the polar and non return to zero all. So, unipolar, there is either positive for one, zero for zero. Okay, so this is whereas for polar, positive and negative voltage. There is no zero voltage component, eh? either positive or negative. Okay, but the problem is for both cases, poor timing, okay, frequency content is very low and no synchronization is there so need to be synchronized okay so in this case positive 5 volt and 0 volt or positive a volt or 0 volt okay in this case is usually if they are given voltage level is a upper is a divided by 2 positive a and this one negative a divided by 2 so total amplitude is a if we want to synchronize. 
means if we want to compare between these two. Now, NRZ I, L is straightforward, I means inversion is there. So where is the inversion? For the same, uh, for the uh, bit orientation, something like that. Where is this inverted? If a bit is one, then the mood of the signal will be inverted back. So for example, zero, 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 okay, voltage level zero. Here is voltage just like uh, unipolar, positive voltage and zero voltage is used. Okay, but for zero, 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 okay, voltage zero, zero, zero. If there is a one, it will be one, upper voltage, high voltage, positive voltage. If next one, it will be inverted back to the lower voltage. Again, if there is one, okay, it will be inverted from low to high. But if the next bit is zero, it will not be inverted. If there is one, it will be inverted. No, zero, not inverted. So the inversion will be happen if a binary bit one is encountered or the next bit is one. So you can see there is no transition, but for each one, there will be transition on the bit. So since there are transition, from the transition, the receiver can easily recognize, oh, there is a transition, means there is one, okay? If no transition means it's all zero. If there is a transition means one. So these are the use for synchronization of that. If there is a no transition, okay, it means next bit zero. If transition means next bit one. So this one is set, synchronized. So let us see energy I, but there is, this is the encoding of energy I, but there is some problem. What's the problem? Okay, at the start position, why is the voltage level? It is zero or it is positive. That's a problem. For example, okay, same bit sequence, 10110, but the voltage level initially was at zero volt. So what will be? One means it will be inverted. Next zero, it will go ahead. Next one, it will be inverted. One inverted zero. Okay, but if the starting point starts with plus positive volt, how this one will be? First one, one, it will be inverted. Then no inversion, one inversion, one inversion, zero, no. You can see totally reverse, okay? In terms of appearance. So uh, that's the problem. Here it can detect easily what is the bit due, due to the inversion. But at the beginning, synchronization is missing here. So need to be synchronized or the receiver need to be informed that the starting should be from zero volt or positive volt, okay? Same is for one, 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 one. So if it started from zero volt, you can see for each one, there is a transition. So receiver can very easily recognize for each bit there is a transition. So uh, this all one, okay? But it doesn't know at the beginning where to start, from zero or from positive volt. Because if from positive volt is totally reverse of this, yeah, so that, that's the problem. So that's need to be done um, during the uh, uh, transmission, period to the transmission. That, that is uh, energy I, okay? Okay, so now polar. In polar, uh, first return to zero. Here, signal uh, return to zero, in between positive and negative, in between. So there is a zero voltage component in the signal, means there are three components, okay? So, and then this is true for all bits, for zero bits and for one bits also. And due to that, it is more or less self-clocking. So no separate synchronization is needed, but consumption, of bandwidth is higher, okay? It's twice 
the bandwidth than non return to zero okay so let us see in terms of picture it will be more clear so zero zero means there will be low volt because there are three voltage level is used negative v volt zero volt positive v volt okay it's something like that so zero is negative to zero so transition in between or in the middle of the bit position okay this actually for the zero bit this is the duration of the bit okay or bit timing this is the duration is a uh, same we say tba bit timing of this so in the middle it will be transit from low to zero and for one it the transition will be from high to zero so there is a transition for each bit since transition for each bit in the in the middle of the bit time so if there is a transition from low to zero means this one zero and high to zero means this one one so it is uh, already synchronized okay and even for um, consecutive zero or one there is no problem you can see for zero low to high zero low to uh, high means g uh, means zero zero voltage but one from high to zero high to zero high to zero okay this actually uh, nothing eh? we can see and from uh, zero there is low to zero so transition uh, can be used for synchronization at the same times um, to recognize the bits either zero or one okay so there is a uh, exercise one one zero zero one zero one zero zero uh, you can draw the line coding for unipolar unipolar is always linear non return to zero linear or non return to zero polar non return to zero l polar non return to zero inversion and polar return to zero as we uh, discuss all these things okay you can try yourself now in polar there is the other one manchester encoding it has two convention one is i to play a to dot a to two dot three means ethernet uh, standard another one thomas okay so first this one ethernet i to play ethernet standard one in manchester encoding the signal is changed from high to low and low to high uh like the like the bipolar one but it is already defined zero means high to low for i to play and one means low to high okay so in the middle of the signal just like bipolar there are three components positive negative and zero so binary one low to high and in the middle of the interval whereas binary zero from high to low okay so this is more reliable because it's already known is the signal will go in a specific pattern travel in a specific pattern so more reliable when recovering signal detection of transition okay uh, is more important here rather than the label and then from the transition can be synchronized and can be uh, detect the bit uh, bit level either zero or one but still there is some problem means the starting level is high or low okay and that's why there is or if there is any mismatch it will be totally different because there is another convention manchester encoding which is uh, uh the thomas one okay but this one is use use is uh ethernet network especially for tokening so let us see um this one how this one zero means high to low means g if we can re remember this one it will be easy for us one is reverse of g so uh you can see zero one zero zero one 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 zero means zero means high to low in the middle means not polar is from high to zero but this one high to low directly one means low to high okay 
and this way. So two volt plus and minus V volt plus volt and minus. Transition middle of the volt. Okay, just like bipolar, but not zero voltage is not here. Okay. Now the other one is Thomas. Thomas one, he this scientist consideration is no zero should be low to high one will be high to low so totally opposite convention as i mentioned that's why there can be mismatch so if this one the clock this one the binary data okay so one bit okay this is the bit duration eh? one complete one bit this one zero bit and okay so on so manchester i triple a is one means low to high Okay, so low to high in the middle. Zero is high to low. Whereas Thomas one is zero means low to high. One means high to low. So you can see totally is reverse in terms of appearance. Okay, opposite of each other. So now, if someone want to use in application itropoly, but by mistake, use this one. They will be totally mismatched. Means the D fully error. Okay, uh, in terms of received data. So to overcome this possible problem, there is another one. Uh, another one means Manchester encoding, which is known as differential Manchester encoding. Let us see what is differential Manchester encoding there. Then, okay. Differential Manchester encoding is used also 802.5 token ring. Okay. The transition at the middle of the bit is used only for synchronization for this case. And the bit representation is defined how? By the inversion or non inversion at the beginning of the bit. So, Zero means there will be transition, okay, or inversion of the waveform. One is no transition, no inversion, okay. So through that synchronization and data recognition, both can be done in a convenient way. Also to overcome the problem of I to Manchester I to pulley or Manchester Thomas. So let us see in terms of waveform. So this one. Differential Manchester zero. Zero is means there should be inversion. Inversion means, okay, first here it will be inverted from low to high. One means no inversion. So one will be high to low. Now, next zero, it will be inverted. Okay, from low, it will just uh, invert back from high to low. Again, zero, it will not continue from here. It will be inverted back, high to low. Next one, no need inversion. It will go directly, okay? So one means this. So in this way, the presence of transition at the beginning of each bit will make the receiver clear that there is zero or one. If inversion, there is a zero, okay? If no inversion, there will be one, but the uh, in the middle of the bit duration, the data is changed, okay? In the same way, like Manchester encoding. Okay, so this is the differential Manchester encoding. So let us see, this one, the Manchester, zero means high to low, this one, the I to pulley Manchester, and differential Manchester, how they are uh, similar or different, okay? So all the bit is the same. Uh, this is the bit duration, one bit duration, so zero is here, high to low. One is low to high and so on. But differential Manchester, zero means there will be conversion. It will not be started from here. It will be converted from up to high to low volt. And then this one, the zero. So this one there, you, you can see next one, no inversion. It will go, it will go directly. Here, next is zero. So there will be inversion. So it will go high to low and so on. So this is no inversion. This is uh, next bit is zero. So there will be inversion. Okay. So now the bipolar encoding. 
bipolar encoding alternately mark inversion. There are, before there's two level plus and minus volts, positive and negative volts. But bipolar means there are two poles. So there will be three levels of voltage used. So positive, zero, and negative. So binary zero represent no signal, whereas one represent um, represented by either positive or negative pulses. But pulse alternate in polarity. So this one, no loss of synchronization, very synchronized. If there is a long string of one or zero, still there will be no problem. Let's see. So, okay, return to zero, alternately mark inversion. One is, can be positive or negative means First one is positive, next one will be negative, and so on. Zero is always zero volt. So let us see, this one zero, zero. First one, one will be high voltage, next zero, zero. Next one must be negative volt, and so on. So from here, because zero means zero volt, and if this is positive or negative, so this one will be one, all the one. So they are synchronized, and detection of the bits are uh, very convenient. So for long, long distance transmission, bandwidth efficiency is very important, okay? So bipolar encoding is used. But for short distance transmission, like local area network, bandwidth efficiency is not that important, okay? Um, then cost. So we want to make it uh, the reasonable, cost or affordable. So Ethernet LAN, Manchester encoding is used because it consumes uh, bandwidth. Okay, so there is activity for you, a string of beers. Okay, you can try yourself or practice for drawing the line code for unipolar NRJ, polar NRJ, NRJ I, MI, Manchester, differential Manchester coding. You can do yourself um, for practice. So we have just finished and the source encoder means the line coding. Our next lesson focus is binary modulation. So we'll go one by one. First, ASK amplitude shift key, and then frequency shift key, and then phase shift key, one after another. Okay, so stay tuned. Thank you. See you for the next lesson. Bye.